I am currently right here and I'm going to take this path over this direction and around over here. Probably a good hour walk or more. And of course the way I stop and check out every little critter, <laughs> I might spend my whole day right there on that trail alone. I hope we get up to the lake. That'd be fun to see as well. All right, let's go. Everywhere my eyes look are golden orb weaving spiders. Wow. This for me is a spider hunter's best dream come true. For many people, most people anyway, this would probably be their worst nightmare. <laughs> this old girl's got two gentleman callers. One gentleman there. And the other boyfriend's up a little higher, right up there. Are you a lucky girl? Or are they both lucky boys? <laughs> anyway, you're looking real good this morning, lady. And you got two boys interested in you, so treat them well. Don't dine on them for lunch. <laughs> That's what I call up close and personal. <laughs> yeah, all right. I'm having a ball here with these golden orb weaver spiders. There are countless spiders here of this species. It must be just the right time of year for them down here in hot, humid Florida. And the boys are all calling. And the girls are looking just beautiful. <laughs> Isn't that right? Yeah. You're just looking beautiful right there. All right, let's continue on. Yep, you can even find them at the speed limit signs. They're not moving very fast, maybe zero miles per hour. Can you believe it? I'm actually getting bored with them. Never thought I'd say something like that. This is my first sighting ever in Florida of the fishing spider. Right in between the two blades of grass and that tan colored leaf. And there she goes.
She's just choosing to float along and let the breeze, a gentle breeze, move her. Most likely feeling for vibrations under her from aquatic life. She's drifting toward a minnow right close to her. See if she's interested at all. These minnows are bigger than she is, actually. Here's another one, right near the edge of the pond here. She's uh, right close to my feet. If I help you find her, she's right down here by these leaves. Hanging out. These spiders are really hard to see because they're so well camouflaged. Once they find a spot they want to stay at, they don't make much movement. But right in the center of the screen on top of the rusty orange colored leaf. Let's see how close she'll let me get with my finger here. Very close. <laughs> and there she goes, off under here. Take some hiding away from me. And fishing spiders are really hard to find. But I'm going to see if I can do so. Going to look right down here in the edge of the pond by the leaves. And it takes me a little bit. i got to stare before I actually spot one because they're, uh, they're really hard to see. All right, and I see another spider down there too. It looks like a long-jawed orb weaver. We'll take a look at that spider too while we're down there. Let's check out uh, any fishing spiders right here. Just as I thought, kind of a good area for a fishing spider. A little shade if they want to keep cool. But uh, there's a fishing spider right out there. Judging by the size of these spiders, these fishing spiders, this looks like... Um, the juvenile stock from springtime. That spider's abdomen is probably the size length of a dime, not including its legs. But a good shot of the fishing spider. Trying to see if it's got its fishing position. Yep, looks like one legs are rested on the tension surface of the water. And one of the legs in the back look is breaking the tension to feel below the surface for vibration. So yeah, this must be a good spot for them. Six spot fishing spider right there. And then over here is our long jaw orb weaver. Not sure the camera will focus well on this spider. It's so breezy, but we'll try. See if we can get a little closer anyway. There's a little better view over. These have long two front legs, front pairs anyway. A lot longer, uh, maybe, I don't know, three, four times longer than the abdomen of the spider sometimes. But uh, that's the long jawed orb weaver hanging over the water, hoping to catch some flying aquatic life for dinner. Okay, let's see what else we can find before I completely waste away and turn into, well, I'm already turned into a liquid sponge holding maximum amount of water. 
Actually, it's all leaking out now. Anyway, I'm heading this way, around the edge of the pond, see what else is out here. And then we're taking into the deeper woods to get away from the water area. Now here's a pretty good size fishing spider right on the fork of those two palm branches in the water. She's the size of the silver dollar, including her legs. Wow, what's this coming across the pond? Oh yeah, it's a raccoon having a bad hair day. All right, all right. I've been out in the sun too long. I'm getting slap happy. Maybe I better take a break, go get a drink of water. It is so hot. I'm gonna grab this palm branch here and use it to fan myself to cool off. All right, let's just get this off of here. There we go. Beautiful spider, love the red, red legs, white and black pattern on the abdomen, silver, gray, carapace area, nice spider. Alright, I think I'm done for the day. I'm kind of pooped out, burned out. Oh, but wait, just one more. Look at this guy over here. Orb weaver. It's one of those long-jawed orb weavers. Let's see if I can get zoom in with the camera here on this guy. Now yeah, the wind's going to be a factor here as well. Long-jawed orb weaver. A little too far away to ID. Nice spider. Of course, I say that about every spider, don't I? Gotta love them. All right, I'm done. Heading back. Wait, check this out right over here. I think that's called the angler spider. You can see those three strong drag threads heading down to the water right there. And that's how why it's called the angler fishing spider. It uses a bobber and a lure. Now I know I gotta get out of the heat. Alright, out of here for sure now. <laughs>